Hey YouTube, it's Mandy with Life with the Lunas. So the other day I did a color fill on this Omni Hybrid lower receiver. It's a poly. We filled that in. And somebody asked me, you know, well, we didn't get to see the very first of it or the beginning and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. I had some comments on it. So today I'm going to go ahead and do a color fill. This is an Anderson lower. And I built this one myself. And uh, that kind of seems to be the norm around here. Playing with guns, so we like to build them. I'm going to do the safety selector, the safe and fire. And then I'm may go ahead and do this Anderson right here just to you know do something and show what's going on all right it's not that hard a lot of people doing it but I thought you know what I'll try it out because I like the way it looks I've done some other pistols that we have and thought we'd try this one out so the first thing I do is I use an alcohol swab or a wipe got an alcohol wipe and I clean the area really good just do that and let that sit in. Okay. And then we'll let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to use this red that I used. I did a, a front sight, the pin on the front sight, the little post. I did that the other day. See that? So then I'm going to try this white. So I'll do the fire in red and the safe in white. And then I got this right here that's like a retro grayish, so like a gunmetal sort of. Anyway, I'm going to do, do that to the Anderson logo and all that information right there. And uh, there is a serial number there. I'm not going to do the serial number. I'm just going to do, it says Anderson Manufacturing, Abram, Kentucky. It's got AM15 Multical. I'm going to do that part, but not the serial number. All right, just so it's not that, you know, uh, pronounced. Anyway, so I'll get started on this thing here. And uh, you guys can, I'm just going to show you real quick. You just start out, shake this up, make sure you get it nice and shaken. And uh, I don't know if you can, I know it's hard to see, but just to let y'all see real quick. Um, there's how it looks, the safe in the fire. And then you can see that Anderson right there. So there it is. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to do the fire in red. And you just brush it on. That's all you do. Just brush it on there. Fill it in as well as you can. And I, I, I like to dab in where the letters are, but then I like to, to kind of brush for a final. So. All right. Real quick, I'll show you the red. See that? Just dab it on there. And then we're going to do this white on this, the safe. So we'll go in here. Let's see here. And just do the safe. Some of them are a little tougher. That I did notice that the different nail polishes are some seem to be a little bit more I guess they have more of a thinner or something in them so they're the consistency of the paint isn't as thick so I'll do that what I do is I'll put this on the side and then I'll come in and I'll try to take out some of the but this one's got a lot of paint in it you can tell so Take some of it out because there's way too much in it. All right, now I'll just go back over it. Alright, see a little more. 
all right. So you guys can see the white, see that? So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Anderson. While this is, the other one's drying, I'll let it all dry. I normally wait about 45 minutes. Um, I'll set a timer. I usually ask Siri to set a timer. <laughs> and then, uh, anyway, I'll let this dry for a little while and let you guys see and come back and let you guys look at it and see what you think. All right, I'll be back. Hey, YouTube, I'm back. So we let this dry for 45 minutes. And now I've been working on this little area using this non-acetone. And what I've done is I've got a little rag, put a little bit in the cap, and I use a Q-tip. Just a regular Q-tip. And I use the rag to just take off the top part of it. I mean the thicker part. Then I use the Q-tip to just go over and to get the little spots in between. I, seems to That helps me so it doesn't just take it all out because it's you want to get in there and not just keep working it and pulling all the uh, cause you got some parts like here it's a little horse and uh, it's a horse head so I don't know if you guys can see that now how that looks you see how that so I use that just to I wanted just a subtle touch I didn't want to have a whole lot of there's still a little spot there that I'm trying to get see that and then we've got the red and the white the fire and the safe that we're going to work on next so we'll put this and try not to mix the q-tips or even on the rag the different colors because that then it starts to run and you know get all then you're going to create a new color basically so we'll start with the red just start just brushing it All right, once I get it to where it's come down quite a bit, take around it, you can see how much is coming off on your, then I use the Q-tip, put the Q-tip in there, and I, I dry it off a little on the towel, and then I just start going around the edges. And spin your Q-tip around so you can get Some uh, fresh, you know, on there, and it doesn't smear it. All right, looks like it's working out good for us here. So if you look, I've got the fire. See how that worked? Now you can see the safe, where it says safe. So we'll turn around, spin the rag, put some more on the rag, and then just start working it. Try to clean that. Just really the solvent's just loosening that for you. You'll start seeing after a few strokes. And on some of the edges, you can just go up and down on them. And, uh, all right, now we'll get the Q-tip. See, I've got red on one side, but the other side hasn't been used, so I'm going to put that and start working on the spots.
laptop. There we go. Try it off a little bit with this. All right, now you can see it's got fire and safe. There's a little bit of the top on the fire it needs to come off. Here's the top of the F. Make sure it's close to perfect. All right, there we go. That looks good. So now you can see we've got the Anderson Manufacturing and the Fire and Safe color field. So like I said, you just sneak in there and get some of this non-acetone for your wife's uh, cabinet where she keeps everything. And uh, look through her nail polish and see what she's got. If, if your wife's like mine, she's got all kinds of nail polish. I've, I've got a bunch of girls that are coming and going. I've got one boy and like six girls at, in our family. And so we've got nail polish for hours. And uh, always wanting to do some nails or something like that. So you can see I only used a couple of Q-tips. Got some of those from her too, so there you go. You got a color fill on the AR-15 lower, just to give it something, you know, I kind of like that fire and safe the way it looks. And you know, just a subtle fill right in here. I haven't done, there's nothing else um, yet on here. I think later on I may have this, uh, I don't know if I, I may have something put on there, but anyway, I don't know. Here's what it looks like completed. And I'm going to go ahead and let that dry another hour or so, two hours, before I pop everything back together, put that switch back in there, in the grip, pistol grip. So anyway, let me know what you think. Please like and share this video, and please subscribe. Uh, we are still in the process of trying to reach 100 followers, uh, I mean 100 uh, subscribers. Can't get that out, huh? Anyway, um, and uh, we are we do have a giveaway for a field sport uh, optic reflex optic, and uh, once you know, look for our video on that, and you can enter. You just hit uh, giveaway. You, I mean, you have to go in there and uh, is it? Yeah, you've got to uh, type giveaway. You know, leave a comment, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Maybe you'll be the lucky one, huh? Hey, anyway, we're trying to do what we can, you know, we like, we're having fun. Hope you guys are having fun. And once again, I'm Manny with Life with the Lunas, and you guys have a great day.